This is Matt Miller speaking, brought to you by NBC News. Did you know water pollution affects 40% of America's rivers and 46% of America's lakes? They are now too polluted for fishing or swimming. Pollution has increased substantially over the years. It was recorded in 1975 there was 14 billion pounds of garbage in the oceans alone. The pollution we create hurts us severely, causing us malaria, diseases, and HIV. It also affects aqua life, killing over 100,000 mammals in just over the last year. Water pollution has spread throughout the water across the entire world, affecting millions of people and animals. Biotic factors such as oxygen and are negatively affected due to the decrease in concentration found in water. When in the decrease of oxygen, there becomes an increase of toxic compounds. Biotic factors are negatively affected by the nutrients they eat. With an increase of pollution, the animals can mistake it for food and straight up eat it, causing them to die and hinder the ecosystem, ecosystem stability. Now one of the main causes of water pollution is boats. This is due to the release of harmful hydrocarbons and oxides of nitrogen that not to mention the gasoline and oil spills. Boats not only have a negative impact on the ecosystem, but also on humans. A substance called ozone causes lung inflama inflammation, which can sometimes be serious. Most boats consist of inboard motors contrasting with the amount of people with outboards. 53% of people own boats, but 41% of people own inboards, contrasting with, the, uh, with only 12% of people owning outboards. This has increased the pollution substantially because inboard motors produce twice as much more pollutants because there is more room for leaks in oil and gasoline. How exactly do boats disturb the environment, you might ask? Well, according to U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, there has been identified specifications on how boats harm the environment. They have identified the following as potential environmental impacts from boating and marinas. High toxicity in water, increased pollutant concentrations, um, decrease in uh, aquatic uh, organisms, and sediments increase erosion rates, increase nutrients leading to increase to algae, and a decrease in oxygen, and high levels of pathogens. In addition, construction of marinas can lead to physical destruction of sensitive ecosystems and bottle-dwelling aquatic communities. Now, boats don't just cause pollution, but they are also one of the major contributing factors to invasion, invasive species. Inland lakes in Manitowoc County, he says he's noticed a spike in invasive plants in some of the bodies of water. Invasive species can be transferred from boats. So watch when you pull your boat out, you know, check the trailer in the bottom of the boat. Transferring invasive plants can have a large impact on the ecosystem and the economy. Non-native species like zebra mussels cost the state more than $1 million a year to clean up, according to the DNR. When the weeds start spreading, that takes away food from fish that normally has access to food. Um, with the zebra mussels, they filter out the lake and make the lake clear. And it'll cause algae blooms and more vegetation growth that we don't need. Invasive species can be transferred from boats, so it's important to ensure your boat is clean before launching into the water. You're supposed to uh, remove all the weeds and stuff off the boat, trailer, vehicle, equipment. Now, as you just saw in the video, we need to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. Boats, trailers, and other fishing equipment um, can spread aquatic invasive species from water body to water body, unless properly cleaned, dried, and disinfected after use. So the first step, you want to check your boat, then you want to clean it, then you want to drain it, then dry it, and disinfect. You should check all your equipment, including the trailer of your boat. The lights, the license plate, axle rollers, transductor, motor props, and fishing lures. This is in order to maintain a clean vi environment and e ensure you dispose of your waste in special um, waste boxes found along uh, riverways. We can end water pollution and invasive species in a few ways. If you plan on buying a boat, think about buying an outboard in which produces half as many pollutants as an inboard. Now to stop invasive species, make sure you are cleaning off your boat thoroughly after each